You're listening to When Christians Speak Online Talk Radio, broadcasting out of the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. Today's voice crying out in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. When Christians Speak is dedicated to lifting up the name of Christ Jesus and spreading the good news. So it's my brother, can you spare a dime? My God shall supply my need. Don't have to beg because I am a thief. You're listening to When Christians Speak Online Talk Radio, broadcasting out of the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. Today's voice crying out in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. When Christians Speak is dedicated to lifting up the name of Christ Jesus and spreading the good news. Join us for our weekly broadcast, His Abounding Grace, with Minister Vanessa Williams. That's every Tuesday at 7 p.m. On Wednesday afternoons at 1 p.m., join Reverend Gwendolyn Dixon for the Midday Glory Prayer Line. The dial-in number is 641-715-3580. The access code is 732-499. And Wednesday nights at 7 p.m., Challenge to Change, where real transformation begins with you. That's with Pastor Paul Morgan of Chosen Generation Ministries in Richmond, Virginia. On Thursdays, live at 12 noon, join Reverend Pat Randall for Declaring the Finished Work for an hour of worship, exhortation, and prayer. Reverend Ray and friends are here on Friday nights at 7 p.m. with the joy of the Lord on Friday Night Joy. Sundays at 7 p.m., join Reverend Ray for Bread of Life for a word in season. And don't forget our monthly broadcast. First Mondays of every month at 7 p.m., be blessed with the teaching ministry of Apostle Shirley Jones on Lifeline. On third Mondays at 7 p.m., join Evangelist Louis McElwain for Adoration, a broadcast of worship and ministries on the mission field. Second Saturdays of the month, join Reverend Curtis, Reverend Novena, and Minister Jordana for Bold and Beautiful, a youth and young adult broadcast setting the world on fire with the love of Jesus. All broadcast times are Eastern Standard Time. All right. Uh, praise the Lord, everybody. Running a little behind. Amen. This is when Christian Speak Talk Radio. This is a bread of life. Amen. I'm Reverend Ray. We are broadcasting um, live. Amen. On this great and wonderful day. Um, Got to do some quick... Uh, uh things and yep we are we're good to go so um let's go ahead and get started we'll do um the rest of the part that we missed of course uh with the announcements amen and we do want to remind everybody that on tomorrow um apostle shirley um will be on lifeline amen the first monday amen of july wow this month has really gone by man so um, she will be on um, life. She will be here tomorrow, Amen. And we're excited about um, that. Amen. Her topic will be, will be truth or consequence. So, man, y'all be ready. But for today, uh, what we're gonna do? We're gonna continue the series on forgiving, Amen. But this is sort of like a, a plus one, Amen. Um, hopefully, Reverend Robin will be with us on the next Sunday for the first, Amen. And um, um. We can get a go from there, but this one we're gonna talk about um pray one for another. Amen. Um and I, I was listening to Pastor um Jenkins of Jenkins, amen. He's um a, a pastor that I've been married over the years and um he's located in in of course in, in Maryland. Um give me a second. Um I'll tell you the name of the church because I wanna make sure I'm accurate. And everything, Amen. But it was uh, uh, 
of the First Baptist Church of Glendon. I mean, the, the dude was preaching this morning, man. You know, uh, got a chance to listen to him and a couple others. Didn't go to go to church in per se, so I saw them more more or less had church at the house. Um, but it was an awesome message, and um, and um, I did post it to my Facebook page. Amen. So um, gleamed a little bit from him. Amen. Um, not uh, and some things, and we're going to talk about some things that um, um, that he shared with us. Amen. But um, I was excited, man. I mean, you know, it's something about good preaching, man. You just want to just begin to glorify God and give God praise and uh, for what He's doing in your life and and to worship Him. But let's go ahead and have a word of prayer. Father, thank you today for all that you're doing in our life, God. You are awesome, God. And when we think about your goodness and all that you have have done for us, God, we can't help but praise you and give you glory. We love you, and we realize that we need you more than ever. Father, help us, God, to be obedient to you and to learn to lean not to our own understanding, but to um, lean on you. We thank you, God, for what you have brought us from. We thank you for every all your all your grace and all your mercy. We get this broadcast to you, everything we will do to you, and say, Holy Spirit, have your way. Amen, and amen, and amen, amen. But anyway, uh, he was talking about some things. I'm not going to share with the things. I have to share it another day. Um, with the Anna, it was something he was talking about how to. Um, Share the gospel with people in a way to approach it, but and but it just the whole broadcast was just was definitely was something I needed to hear. Uh, uh, um, um, Pastor Pastor Jenkins, amen. Um, so let's we're going to continue to work, and basically one of the things I got is is what we've been talking about is about the need still talking under the, the, the umbrella of the, the the forgiven, which we are. All right. But what it's basically saying is, and it comes out of James chapter 5, verse 16, that the forgiven should pray for <laughs> each other. You know, since we've been forgiven, we should need to, there's a need to pray for each other. And um, so let's go ahead and get started. Again, don't forget about um, um, tomorrow. Amen. And this, um, come, we're going to read James chapter 5. We're going to start at verse verse. Verse 14. All right. Now, Reverend Robin has sort of touched on this um, a little bit on last on Sunday, and there was so much more. I mean, she, I mean, I want to encourage you to go back into the last, last Sunday's broadcast when we talked about the forgiving, and there was part four. So this is part four plus one. Okay. <laughs> so go back and listen to it. She was. I mean, she was just a lot of things were spoken that we all need to understand. Okay. We need to understand about being the forgiven and forgiving others. Amen. But just go back and listen because I want to get into it because that can be a whole new um, piece right there. Amen. Um, but James chapter 5, verse 14 says, Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of the faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise them up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven. Okay? They shall be forgiven. Verse 16 says, Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may that ye may be healed. The effectual reverend prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Amen. And what Rob, Reverend Rob was talking about, it was confessing um, your faults, you know, one to another. That, that we might get healing, okay. And if you go back and you listen, she's always she get and she I mean, she really was on point, and I don't want to mess it up. That's why I said go back and listen to it, okay. Um, but she really was on point, you know. So if I'm coming to you, and I'm darling, <laughs> and I'm not coming to confess to you, see what I'm saying? But I'm coming to you so that I get I may get healing, and I, and my healing comes, um. Um, um, through the process of me, me, you and I talking in an agreement and in, and in prayer, okay? And I come to confess to you, but I'm coming uh, from the Jew that I might be healed 
because of what you are ministering to me. Okay. I we are being ministered to each other. Amen. And that and you yeah man, she's got to really get into that again when we talk again about that. But that in itself, man, is a whole nother story. But the part that I'm looking at is to pray one for another. And I was as I was listening to Pastor Jenkins earlier and um uh, there's a couple of other people, um um what well, who else I listen to Ray? Come on, bro. <laughs> Um, listen to Pastor Jenkins and a couple of other um, people earlier and stuff like that. I don't even have his name, man. That's sad. Okay, but uh, um, I got this need for um, a, a prayer that and James says that we need to uh, pray one for another that that he may be here. Pray one for another. Okay. And we need to be doing that. And I think if we spent more time praying one for another, amen, uh, then we'll understand even the concept of being forgiven. Then we will understand also the, the concept of, of uh, or to be able to forgive and not hold, you know, grudges and go through all this emotional stress. But pray one for another. You know, and I mean, I mean, and with that, that pray one for another. Pray that we don't fall in, into temptation. Pray for the healing of the body one for another. Pray that, you know, it's the sharpening. You know, it's like the sharpening of our Pray that you would have strength and I would have the strength to endure it. Um, pray, you know, that we will recognize and realize that Jesus Christ loves us and he would never leave us and he's right. You know, we pray one for the that he may be here. All of us have gone through something at one point needed to be here. We and it was because of the prayers of the righteous. Okay? And it says the verse goes on, said the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man availeth much. Okay? The effective effective the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Let's talk about it. Um, two words that I um, that I have because I got a lot of notes. Here. Let's first let's talk about the uh, effectual. Okay, the definition of effectual the most of known means producing or able or able to produce a desired effect. You know, it's synonymous with effective, um, um, productive, um, uh, efficient, um, operative, or uh, a word that I like more. So the end thing is as being fruitful, okay? It's fruitful. And the thing that we want when you're thinking about uh the, the prayers of the righteous of the righteous being able to develop that, that is fruitful, okay? In other words that their prayers um are being answered. Their prayers are answered, okay? They can in other words they can see the outcome of what they pray for. Okay? Um they they can see the outcome. Of what they pray for, and that's what we want in our relationship with Jesus Christ. We want that our prayers that have outcome that are fruitful. Okay, our prayers to have outcome that are are, are fruitful. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. And um. So in in in, in other words, productive. You know, the effectual prayers, the productive prayers. You know. They they they're gonna they're gonna come produce something, okay. That's that part they go through. There's something uh, uh, that talks about faith, how uh, um, faith will produce something, you know. You know that faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things um, not seen. Why? Because it's gonna produce something when you pray and you're praying and you add faith into that you're looking for an outcome that will have that uh that has been produced amen so in a way it says that um i mean when i looked at this man i said they're effectual prayers the effectual prayers okay let me go back up okay the effectual prayers of a righteous man a valid month then the other word that was in there was freedom Okay, fever having a, a display or a passionate or intensity. I mean, it's, it's impassionated, it's intense, it's 
vehement, it's audience, it's sincere, it's feeling, it's profound, it's deep seated, it's heartfelt, it's deeply felt, it's emotional, you know, it's animated, you know, it's spirited, <laughs> you know, fervent, it means also that it's hot, it's burning, you know, another word to give is um, arcade, it's glowing, I mean, so you got effectual and fervent, and then you got prayer. You guys, in other words, you have those type of prayer of a righteous method of much that, that you're going to produce an outcome. It's going to push it forward and stuff like that. You know, where something may have been at the bottom um, of, of, of something that has been pushed forth to bring forth fruit. Where it might have just been a seed, then it's a tree. <laughs> you know, because it's going to produce outcomes. You know, and that's why it's important that we um, pray one for another. You know, we pray one for the other another. You know, we keep each other covered in prayer, you know, especially if we, one is falling or you know, especially if one has, has need to be forgiven or is asking for forgiveness, especially if this, just life, we should be praying one for another, okay? But just life, and I don't want, don't want to get too... Uh, far ahead of myself, but I want to finish with um, Ephesians. Amen. It says, uh, 16 says, confess your faults one to another and pray one for another. Okay, so confess your faults one to another, then pray one for another that you may be healed. The effectual freedom prayer of a righteous man availed much. It availed much. And then I looked over in Ephesians um, chapter 3 verses 6 to 8. It said that the Gentiles, this is Paul talking to the Gentiles, should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel. Now what was taking place there, Paul has been getting his orders to go to the Gentiles, okay? And so he was, and the reason he was giving the, the orders to go to the Gentiles so that the Gentiles can come and could be um, um, grafted into the promises of Abraham. Amen. Okay, verse 7 says, wherefore I was an I was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power. Okay, there's that word again. The effectual working of his power. Whose power? God. Then I just went, finished talking to you about the effectual, the effect, you know, that when God, when God produced effect. Now let me, let me, let me read in my notes. That's a little bit more. Okay. Um, it says that effect is the result of an action. Remember I said it produced, they say effect in itself, the word effect, what's the E? Um, um, is a noun. So being that it's a noun, it's a, come up, it, it is an action, okay? Uh, it produces an action, okay? And then it's just that it can become, uh, it can be used as a verb, as an uh, example of it, but it can be used as a verb, okay? All right? But we want that effect to take place when it comes to the things of God, okay? We want that effect to take place in our ministry, in our life, in our in the way that we walk, in our way that we talk, and that effect is Jesus Christ. That effect in us, which is the Holy Spirit, produces, produces again, it goes back to what I said at first, at first um, I'm fruit. It says, Wherefore I was made, he was a, he, I, he, Paul said he was made a ministry. He didn't inherit. This is nothing you can inherit. It. This is nothing you get from because your grandmother and your. This is something that you that is in that is that you have to be made into. And when you think about something that's made, there's work that has to go into it. There's a process that has to go into it. He said, Warren, I was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of God, given to me by the effectual working." Of his power, he says. Verse eight says, "Unto me, who, who, unto me, who am less than the least of all the saints, is this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ." So that effect gave him the power to be able to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. You know, he recognized that he said, "I'm least among all the all the saints," you know, and everything like that. <laughs> he never was. I'm the my old pastor James Ross. He said, "I'm mud from the mud." I'm, he took a nobody and said and decided, "I'm going to change your perspective and change your outlook that you will go to kings and queens and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ." 
that you will sit down and be able to have a conversation or that or dialogue with people that you would have never been able to have a conversation with. Okay? That you would never been able to have a conversation with. He, he said the unsearchable riches of 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 Christ. Okay? In other words, if it if it was not for the effect that and the gospel that he is with it's stored within me to come to you and stuff, you would not have been able to find it. Or I would not have been able to find it. But because and everything, that there is an outcome to what it is that we're doing. And because of the evil of, of, the, of the Lord and I say, because of God has caused this thing that are not to take place, you know, um, we now, man, can go out and preach. And we in it in it to into the world, it may become look as foolishness. But for them that hear, man, it is gold. For those that are waiting and yearning to hear a word from God, it is something else. You know what I mean? It is something else. Now I'm gonna read um this one can be this is coming out of Ephesians chapter four. Um, verses seven through sixteen. This is pretty lengthy. Okay. And then I'm gonna give you something that I want you to do. And I'm going to also post this on Facebook. Amen. That I want you to do. Amen. And here we're going to be talking about prayer, you know, and why we pray and why we be, should be sincere. I mean, with a prayer, not, not just ordering up lip service or whatever, or just going through the motions of prayer. But when we pray, our heart should be in it. If, if it was ourselves, because the truth is the Bible says, we should love our neighbor as we love ourselves. So if I love myself, you know, and then if I love my neighbor then, and I know I love myself, then my prayers are much um, different and stronger and bolder. You know, it's not just all the, it's, that's not, it's not just speaking lip service. It's not just speaking um, great height of words and all this kind of stuff. But what it's doing is it's speaking to the essence of who God is in our life. And to the essence who God is in your life and what God's desire for you to come to pass. That you will come to the spirit and the knowledge of truth. Amen. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 7 says, But to everyone that is given grace, there's the word again, according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore he said, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captain and gave gifts unto men that now that he ascended, what is what is it? But that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth. He descended is the same also that he descended is the same also that ascended so far above all the heavens that he may might fill all things. He gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry for the edifying of the body of Christ. He said, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Then it goes back to what I said earlier about why we pray for one, one another. We want the perfecting of the saints to, to take place. Okay? You know, we intercession is one of the gifts. We want the perfecting of the one of the gifts. He want, we want the perfecting of the saints to play to take place, y'all, for the work of the ministry. We need to be praying for each other ministry, not trying to sabotage it or anything like that. Okay, you know, there's a ministry that's in you that has not been birthed yet, and because um, you you messed up or I messed up, you know. Um, I need to I need to know that I have been forgiven so the ministry that supposed to take place maybe years from now can take can can be birth. You know? The healing that needs to take place in you and everything needs to take place in you that will cause the ministry to be birthed. There's a process here. Amen. It says um it says till we all come in the unity of the faith of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man unto the measure of statues of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slay of men and the cunning craftiness whereby they live and wait to deceive, but speak king the truth in love that it might grow up unto him in all things which is in is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which 
every joint supplied according to the effectual, there's the word that I'm looking for, effectual working in the measure of every part, make an increase in the body unto the edifying of itself in love. The effect of every part, body has a, a part to play. Okay? Every part, every one of us has, has an effect that God that 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 that, that, that produces an outcome that we that is needed by each other. That's why the prayer for you is that God bring forth the effect. You know, cause the effect to take place in his life. You know, what is the effect in his life that would establish the ministry to be become birth and to produce the way you stand on would would do. Okay? What 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 what's the effect, God? What what's what is the, the potion? You know? Uh yeah, you know, what is the effectual potion that is, is needed? What is the um um I'm going back up here. The the, the the impassionate, you know, the the um, the intense, the, the sincere, the feeling, the profound, the deep seated, the heartfelt, emotion, the animated thing that would cause us, you know, to have that that a zeal for the Lord. You know, that would cause <coughs> excuse me, that would cause us to go forward. What is it? You know, and there's a beginning, and we, look, we almost done. If we see a short message, so just a plus one. Listen, when I began to think about this earlier and um, look at the scriptures and research and everything, man, I was, I was, I said, and, 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 man, yeah, I, look, yeah, I was like, okay, God, I need you to, to continue to um, stir up the fire in me, to continue to, you know, <laughs> stir up the water in me, the desire that keeps the fire burning, so the the, 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 the the burning of the fire would cause the effect and, and that and that somebody would, or some place would be uh, affected, and that's how that works, because I did look that up too. It says, effect is the result of an action, and effect is most often used as a verb meaning to have an impact. So number of y'all, we want to be effective in the, not to have an affection affected enough. You want to be effective that cause a effect to have an impact. We want to have an impact on those things that God has given us. We want to have an impact on others so that someone would cry, what must I do to be saved? We want those things. But the way to do that is that is, is through the shopping of the iron and through our relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, this is what I'm, I'm going to post on uh, social media, and I'm going to post on uh, on underneath this broadcast. That and, and when you do this, this is this is how you do it. Let me just say it like this: choose seven names that you want to pray for on a regular basis. Write the names down. You know, write the names down. Write the names of people's names down. It can be seven or more, but seven is a is a number of completions. I'm saying seven, okay? But choose seven names, okay? Seven different people names that you want to pray for, okay? All right? And and when you write their names down, begin to do um, effectual, effectual, uh, um, efficient, uh, fervent prayer for them. It don't have to be long. It don't have to be drawn out or anything like that. But choose several names of people you want to pray for. They don't look. They don't have to know that you're praying for them. You know, you don't have to call them and say, hey, I made you part of my seven. No, don't do that, okay? At least I'm saying that. If you want to, you can do that, okay? All right? But when we post this on uh, my social media site, amen, and for those that listen through Facebook, all right, I want you to just give me a thumbs up, okay? You don't have to comment. If you want to comment, it's fine. You can say I did it or say, just say amen. But choose seven names, Okay? Or more, whatever God gives you. But we want you to at least have seven. Seven is the, the minimum, okay? And just pray for them, those seven names. Do it uh, for seven days. Do it for seven days. And let's watch and see what God works in doing it. Like, they can be anybody. It can be family. It can be your children. But they can't, just can't be you, okay? Don't put your name on the list, <laughs> okay? But just two seven, okay? All right? And just say when we post it on social, send me an email. I mean, you can reach me at one Christmas week at gmail dot com. Just say I did it. 
and then I, I know what you're talking about. We're going to post this on um, 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 on Blog Talk, amen, and we're going to also post it again on, on social media along with today's message, amen. And, um, yeah, just say my name, pray. You know, ask God to show you what to pray for and everything, you know. Um, but there don't have to be no long drawn out prayer. You pray according to what God has given you, but say my name, amen. Amen. Y'all, that's all I got. That's all I got. You know, um, that's all I got. You know, amen. Father God, we thank you for this broadcast. We thank you for all that you're doing. God, help us, Lord Jesus, to, to seek after you more so than ever. We know that we need you, Lord Jesus. There are people that are crying, come for you, Lord Jesus. They're crying for a way out. Allow, them to show, allow us to show them an excellent way. We forever give you all the praise and glory. In Christ Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Yeah, pray for one for another. You know, we pray for the, the world. We pray for the church. You know, we pray for our family. But, you know, but we need to be praying one for another. You know, now I said that, and I said earlier that you don't have the lesson. That's up to you whether you do that or not, you know. Um, I mean, even with the, the what we post on Facebook, Amen. Under when Christmas speak, if you don't want to let people know, you can tag them. It's up to you, okay. But at least two seven people, okay. And at least um, the main thing I'm requiring is that just say I did or give me a thumbs up. Amen. Amen. God bless you, y'all. Have a blessed rest of the Sunday, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow with Apostle Shirley. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Don't forget, I almost forget. Don't forget uh, what I messed up at. Um, I think I stopped at the bullet. Adoration with the Avengers, Louis McAranis, every third Monday of the month. Marriage Takeover, the Brother, Brother, One Reverend, Eric and Reverend Tamika Thompson's every third Sunday at 7 p.m. Real Life, Real R3, Real Life, Real Men, Real Talk with myself, Elson Green, Clear for Salon, Tyrone Rose, Antonio Mitchell. It's every second Sunday. Right now, we're talking about unity. It's at 7 p.m. Um, don't forget Midday Glory Prayer with Reverend Gwen Dixon. It's every Wednesday, amen, um, at 1 p.m. The dialing number is 641-715-3580. That's the score to 732-499. Of course, check us out on the website, amen, whenchristmasspeak.com. You can reach us at whenchristmasspeak um, at gmail.com. Send us some information. Um, also, check out our Facebook page at whenchristmasspeak. Amen. We're working on some things um, to take place. Hopefully, we'll be able to get them done for you next week. But God bless you. Know that we love you. This is Reverend Ray on the Winter Christmas Speed Talk Radio, the Greater Life segment, um, the Forgiven Plus One. Amen. Um, the topic was praying one for another. God bless you. God bless you.